Good morning. Good morning. What are you doing? And I see Charity is there. Me and Charity are making coffee. What kind of coffee are we having? We're having Wunderbones. So is this one in beans? Yes, it's in beans. Okay, so you made sure you actually like turned the knob to the right thing as opposed to yesterday where you did that and we were using ground coffee at the same time. I've made mistakes in the past. That was some strong coffee. Well, I mean, it was like coming right out of the coffee udder. So I'm really excited to see what the salted pretzel coffee is gonna taste like. Well, if the beans are any indicator, it's going to be magically delicious. You really like eating the beans for the bones coffee. I do, but like, do I have it on my teeth? No, I don't think so. Because I'm really bad about it. Just like black peppering through my teeth. So we're gonna vlog today. Okay. And I have some really good news that came through while you were sleeping last night. Like, really good news? Really good news. Well, what's the good news? You'll find out later. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things, like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is TwoCrazyKetos.com. That's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. It's very difficult to hold a camera with a cat like going underneath it because yeah this cat something is like wrong up here Shh, don't tell her she needs to rub against everything. everything if she can touch it she's got to rub on it so joe's arm is just high enough it's just high enough and it sort of looks like a corner that needs to be rubbed <laughs> and when she needs some loving she needs them right now so we're gonna vlog a full day of eating i don't know what we're gonna talk about today but we're gonna vlog a full day of eating it is currently tuesday our normal Tuesday routine is Buffalo Wild Wings. Right. But we're gonna skip Buffalo Wild Wings this week. We are. Number one, because it's become too commonplace in our like food. Yeah, we wanna switch up the rotation. So we wanna switch it up. Keep it exciting. We wanna do things different. And then also, like, it seems like every time we do do a full day of eating it's vlog, it's Buffalo Wild Wings it's Day. It's a Buffalo Wild Wings Day. How fun so is that? So I don't know what we're gonna eat yet, but right now I have to go to work. And, uh, yeah, it's already, like, I'm getting a late jump because it's, like, 8.30. I don't know why I'm starting so late. What do you have to do? I saw, like, a ton of shipping that you did last night. What time did you go to bed? I finished at 9 o'clock, but it took me, like, 14 hours. 14 hours. But that's okay. We got it. We, we got, got it, it done. That's the whole thing. I'm, like, when I can, like, get that little checklist, like, mission completed – I get so excited. It doesn't even matter what happened behind. While I'm at work, I have a mission for you. I know you have a Zoom meeting for church. I do. I have a mission for you. Other than the 14 baskets of laundry that I need to put away today? Just put that on the kid's bed. Isn't that work? Yeah. I told you in our camping vlog, all you have to do is tell the kids from now on, they're responsible for their own clothes and you can take all of our clothes to the drop-off laundry place and let them wash, dry, and fold them for you. Man, it's, I'm telling you, that, that offer is there, but the kids have to do their own laundry. I'm not doing the kids' laundry. It's kind of funny because I think for a lot of ladies, it'd be like spa day. Right. Spa day would be like the treat yourself day. Right. And for me, it would be the wash, dry, and fold the laundry day would be treat yourself day for me. So here is your challenge. Okay. We've got a bunch of new subscribers. We need to get back into our, like, let's talk about it series. Okay. So your job is to write up an outline of our next let's talk about it. Okay. And we want you guys, let us know down in the comments What section. do you want to talk about? Give us some subjects to talk about. It could be like, how do you get through a day? It could be like, what do I do when I cheat? Whatever it is. Let us know some of the topics you want us to talk about. It doesn't even necessarily have to be like keto, like can I eat this food? It could be like, how do I deal with my stress? Anything you can think of, let us know down in the comment section. We need ideas. We wanna keep giving you guys five videos a week, but we're running out of ideas. 
Rachel was a busy girl yesterday. This is what she had to do on Monday. And I think this is only about half of the packages that she had to box up and get ready to go to the post office. We're just waiting for the shipping labels. Now, people ask us all the time, like, what is Rachel shipping? They are comic books for her brother's eBay comic business. If you like comic books, we will leave a link for that down below. This is an enormous container. I love my container. I just bought one for Anthony, too. Are you a Polar Pop? I'm a Polar Pop. Well, if you're wondering what this is, this is a 128 ounce container. And it looks like, yeah, that's ridiculous, but it is like super insulated. The insulation's like that thick. So you could put ice in this tonight or this morning, and there will still be ice in here tomorrow if I don't finish. It's filled with water from our Berkey water system. And then I have four scoops of the Redmond Relight. This is lemon lime. I gotta sneak this because this is like Rachel's favorite. It is my favorite. You should be using berry. And then I have a squirt because like I'm mixing, I'm gonna do this throughout the day. This is the Keto Chow Daily Minerals. Yeah, this is the sample bottle because we got to taste it early. But this stuff is amazing. There's a link for it down below. And I don't know if Rachel even noticed last night, but I've been doing what Dr. Barry does and I put it on my meat while I'm cooking. So we made a big pile of ground beef. I did not and notice I just I poured like two tablespoons into the meat as you're cooking. It's like salting your food. It's, I mean, you're getting all of the minerals, but it's getting soaked right into the food. And I've talked to Chris and I've talked to Dr. Barry and it's pure minerals. So the heat won't affect it. So if you don't like the taste of it, just put it on top of your food and then you're gonna like basically be eating extra salt on your food. So it's 11.30 and Anthony and I just finished cutting our two properties that we needed to do today. We had to cut two properties and then we had to do hedges at one of them. It's kind of a light day for cutting. Uh, everything kind of got shifted towards the end of the week because Rachel and I have been doing so much camping for the weekends and like Monday and Tuesday. I don't want to have a bunch of cutting on Mondays and Tuesdays because like we're going camping again next week. Now tomorrow is a hectic day because we have trees and we have to cut the church. But as I was doing the hedges, it really hit me that I'm going to be 50 years old in a couple of months and I have so much energy. I mean, we joke all the time about how like sometimes I have more energy than Anthony and I think it's only because of my eating habit. And I know if I was eating the way I was before, forget the weight, forget the fact that, you know, I weighed almost 300 pounds, but there's just no way I would have the energy at this age to be able to go through, do all of that cutting, do it quickly, do it well, cut all the hedges, and then come home and film videos and still have a ton of energy. On a side note, how hot is it out there? This 128 ounce drink that I did, it's empty. I finished it all. How was your morning? Tabitha, you need to get down. It was good. Um, I got a lot done. Get down. I, you know I love to multitask. Right. So it was like laundry, boxes, Zoom meeting, vacuuming, mopping the floors, everything. But I am having a zip fizz, fruit punch of course. And my cute cup, look how cute my cup is. Is that what the cutest cup? Drinking? That's a zip fizz? It's a fruit punch zip fizz. Okay. Well, you know my 128 ounce container with four scoops of the electrolytes? The Did you finish lights? it? I finished the whole thing by 1030. Oh my gosh. I think it was a little hot out and I think I was definitely low on some electrolytes. It is seriously hot. I do have some good news for you though. Okay. While we were out working, I got a special email from Wawa. Do we get free pumpkin spice coffee? Well, not close to free. It's a dollar off of any size. Oh, yes. The largest one. But you we have need to the use largest it today. one. I want some. Well, I'll make a deal with you. We can go get it. But in order to get it, we have to ride our bicycle to get it. <laughs> it's like five miles away. It's, well, no, it's, it's two and a half miles away. So it's five miles round trip. But so five miles? Five miles for a cup of coffee. Is a cup of pumpkin spice coffee worth a five mile bike ride with your husband? I mean, forget my husband. The pumpkin spice oh. is worth it. Well, maybe we'll do that later. What is behind us? What is this? Oh, it's the sewing machine box. How long are we going to leave that thing out? Forever. I have a hair It's a horn. reminder that we never sew. I have got to go shower. I have a hair horn. You do have to go shower because we have videos that we need to film. 
But here's the thing. So I got home from work. I already took my shower. Do I smell good? You know, you don't have to do hair. <laughs> hair is a thing. So I took my shower, but I was thinking while I was in the shower, I'm so proud of myself because I went to work today. The only thing that I have had was the relight. I had the 120 ounce container with, you know, all the four scoops of Redmond Relight, but I've had nothing to eat. That's an accomplishment for me. It is an accomplishment. You know, it's an accomplishment for me. I have not put any sweetener in my coffee this morning. That is, I, I'm going to give you a backwards high five. Definitely high five because I enjoyed sweetener in my coffee while we were camping and you sort you of got were hooked like, on it. and well, and you're sort of like, well, I'm living that vacation life. Right. When you're camping and then when you come back and you're like, well, now I've got back to black coffee with nothing in it. You're sort of like, mm. but here's the thing. I want to go camping often. Right. Like every other week. And if I get into the habit of I live a vacation life every other week. I want to live a vacation life every day. I will. I, it will be a mess. Okay. Well, this that's perfect because it's right on what I was thinking. So. The reason it's an accomplishment for me is because I generally start my day off with soda. And I don't know, like you're talking about like since we started camping, you really want to have like the sweetener in your coffee. Well, since we started camping, I've kind of gotten into this habit of I want to have a little something to kickstart my day. Okay. Like, and that's, it doesn't have to be a lot. It could be a cheese stick. It could be a piece of pepperoni. It could be a package of the Schoolyard Snacks Cheese Puffs, which if you haven't seen that, take They're a look so at that good. video. They are really, really good. But I like to start the day off with because it takes me a long time to eat the package and it's only 100 calories in one total carb. But I've gotten into this habit where now I'm eating early and I'm eating often. And so my biggest crutch, the thing that, it, that really hurts me the most Staying on my diet lifestyle is that I want to snack all day long. Really? And you're saying yours is sweetener. Mine is getting to have like a flavored event coffee, especially this time of year. I can go fine all year long, but once it gets into pumpkin spice time, now I really want like the fall pumpkin spice latte experience. So I am curious. Let us know down below. What is, if you, if there's just one thing, what is the one thing that constantly gets in the way of your journey? Is it you need too many sweeteners? Is it you're snacking too much? Is it you're still craving bread? What is it? What is the one thing that every day is a struggle to get past? I don't know where the chickens are. Oh, there they are. All of a sudden, I, they heard the door. They come running because they're used to Rachel giving her treats. Hey, guys or girls. Have you given me any eggs yet? You know, it's getting to be that time where if you don't start producing, we're going to have to do something else with you. What are you doing? <laughs> Answering some comments on um, Two Crazy Keto's family group page because I just found out what the super secret great big news was. And that is, we are going to be speaking at the low carb cruise. You're telling without me in the picture. That's not very fair. It's okay because you were holding that information hostage from your other crazy keto. I know, because I found out about it at like one o'clock in the morning, but you were sound asleep. So somebody asked us already, Christopher asked us, what will we be speaking about? Will our topic include chickens? I think it's gonna include balls. Balls. And I'm actually answering back that yes, it will. the subject of our speech will be, how do you revolve your entire life around a group of chickens that will not produce not even one egg? So basically this sewing machine is gonna be in every video from now on. Give me the sewing machine, let's put it away. What does a way look like? Is it a garage where nobody else can see it? So not like actually have a shelf and be purposefully there, just out of sight, out of mind. We've got a giant rug in our garage and like Joe just sweeps stuff under there. Out of sight, out of mind works really well. Mm-hmm. Trying to look, is our lights weird? I don't think so. Because our bathroom lights are weird. Our bathroom lights have got like two of them missing, like need bulb changes. 
Here's the thing. So I don't know like what color eyeshadow is or anything. Well, here's the thing. All of the bulbs in our house are LED bulbs. They're supposed to last forever, aren't they? They're supposed to last a long time, like at least five years. Are they just working harder None than everybody else's? None of the else bulbs is? in our house are older than two years. So why are they all going out? And we're not buying cheap ones. No, we're not buying them at the Dollar Tree. No. We don't buy our lights, our pregnancy tests, or our batteries at the Dollar Tree because we've learned. We've learned. Yeah. Time to do another video. I have a present for you. The other day when you went to church and like I was like, oh, you know, you really worked really hard. We're not using the word deserve. We said we're not going to use the word deserve. We're not but using that word. I wanted to make sure you had foods that you really liked, like your favorite burgers from Sam's Club. Yes. And I also picked you up some more of these. These are so easy to grab and go. I stink and love these things. Can I make my own eggs, hard boiled eggs? Absolutely, I and can. And we do. And we do. Are these the top shelf eggs? No, they are not. However, they're fast. They're already cold, they're already peeled. Wow, our romance has really changed. Like the romantic gestures that we exchange with one another has really changed over the course of our marriage. But like hard boiled eggs on the ready are like romance to me right now. So I know it doesn't seem like much, but here's the thing about the eggs or other products like this. We talk about it all the time. You know, if you're in a situation where like, oh my gosh, there's nothing to eat or I just need to eat something right now, if you don't have something like these eggs in the house, what's going to happen? You're possibly going to grab the kids like, you know, frozen pizza or macaroni and cheese or eat five keto bars. Yeah, because I was going to say, you may not reach for something that's non-keto, but I'm either going to reach for these or I'm going to reach for a handful of nuts and right. that, that goes out of control quickly for me or four ounces of cheese because right. it's very hard for me to stick to just one ounce at a time. Yeah. So I would rather eat two or four eggs even yeah. than to eat some of the other stuff. I mean, if you eat four of these eggs, you're still only eating about 240 calories. Well, I'm pretty sure for most people, four hard boiled eggs is gonna fill you up a lot quicker than six Brazil nuts. Uh, Rachel, yes. you have a chicken in the house. <laughs> what are you doing in the house? You need to go out the door, go out the door, come on. Go outside. You don't belong in the house. This is not Green Acres. I am super proud of us. It is almost five o'clock. It is almost five o'clock. The only thing I've had today was a seltzer water and the Redmond Relight drinks. I had black coffee. You've had black coffee. We're about to break our fast. This is not the only thing we're going to eat today. We're in the middle of doing a food comparison video for fast food. It has been a long time since we've bought fast food. I these are now I know so why. Tiny for the price. So for all of the people who always say, "How do you afford keto? Keto is too expensive." We cook the majority of our food at home. That's how we afford it. Because going out to eat would break you. Especially fast food. I'm not even going to say the words that I want to say Don't for say people those who words. say that. No. Nope. But I'm gonna give you guys a little thing here. Now, this video is gonna come after the out after that comparison video, so you're probably gonna have seen it. But this was eight dollars. Eight dollars. No wonder people are like, I'm not satisfied and I'm going out to eat. Like, eight dollars for this. Stay home and cook, yo. And that's only 300 calories. Like I, that is not gonna fill me up. That's not filling me up. These are two sandwiches, two bunless sandwiches. People ask us like, well, how do you afford different things? Like, what did you spend your money on before? Because I used to spend $6 on a Starbucks drink. So when I cut Starbucks drinks out, I can afford to spend $6 on a steak. Now, sometimes it is hard for us to comprehend that, right? right. Like we used to be like, what's the cheapest steak we can buy? And now like, you know what? We're gonna like spoil ourselves a little bit and go to Whole Foods and get like a pan of massage steak once a month. But I spent eight dollars on a steak. I feel like there'd be a way more food there. Here's the best one. This one blew my mind. Baconator from Wendy's. See that? Look at that. Take a guess. Take a guess. 
I almost don't want to tell you how much this costs, but I'm going to tell you anyway. This was $6. Six dollars. $6. $6 for baby bacon. Look there, at that. <laughs> that is the time. What pig did that come off of? This one was pretty good. This is, this is going to be our dinner. Five guys. But this was $11. But shed the lettuce and the pickles and get down to the meat. Yeah, there's a lot of lettuce here. There's a lot of lettuce. Now That was $11. There you go. $11. So we're going to break our fast with this while our regular dinner is cooking. That did not do it for me. We just finished that food. And again, this is for a different video, but like I'm shocked. Because like I'm still like really hungry. That was twenty five dollars. And that was twenty five dollars. Twelve fifty a piece. Let's say twelve fifty a piece. Not full. Oh, and by the way, all of that food that you saw combined, I'm just looking on here. Uh, that was like seventeen hundred calories for all of that food combined. So no wonder we're not full. We've only had nine hundred calories a piece. You ready for this one? Six dollars and fifty cents. Thousand calories. I can't finish one in a sitting. Okay, I know you're not microphoned up, so I'm not. the microphone's actually dangling. Chick chick. So I just made some keto chow ice cream. Did you swish this? Yes, I did. Is that's this coffee? Doing. That's coffee. With keto chow swished around in it? Yeah, so we put some chocolate peanut butter keto chow into the winter ice cream maker. We're gonna make regular, instead of like the blender one, we're making regular keto chow ice cream tonight. So, you know, we had chocolate peanut butter keto chow mixed up in a blender bottle, but when it's done, once you empty it. Don't throw it out. Don't Ra wash it yet. Rachel likes to take her coffee and clean out the entire thing. So you get that while we're waiting for dinner, which by the way, it's seven o'clock and we're still waiting for our main meal of dinner. My main meal with I, my main man. <laughs> I guess we're not going for a bike ride. I guess not. What are you doing? Eating dinner. This is your serving. That is not my serving. This is my serving. <laughs> is it this a serving? <laughs> Feels like this is a serving. Okay, we're gonna eat dinner. We're having our meat layer lasagna. It's so good. This stuff is so good. I'm telling you, give this to somebody who you know who is not keto, somebody who's used to eating lasagna. They will not know. We have not given this to one person. There's not one person that we've given this to, and they're like, that's like, yuck, that's keto food. The lunch meat becomes the pasta. Yeah. So, yeah, it's lunch meat. Link down below for the recipe. Again, not our recipe. We did not come up with the idea. We just tweak things to fit the way we like to do things. Like, we've got a little bit of salami in here. We put pepperoni across the top. You but this get, is delicious. You can get creative. Yeah. Really? You're just going to pick off every piece and nobody touches any of it. That's right. All mine. You know, just like a toddler thing. It's like, mine, 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 mine. We're going to eat. Hey, what are you doing? Testing it. You can't. There's nothing to test. Now, how much have you had? Like, it's not going to be the same. Barely none. Barely none. My <laughs> butt. <laughs> Barely none. Okay. So let's give Rachel her serving. Give me a spoon here. Don't be stingy. Give me some more of that brown. That's Don't yours. Don't be stingy with that. That's oh. yours and this is mine. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do, have some dessert. I don't know, we usually actually weigh this out. We are actually pretty good about this. No way. No way. The scale is the devil. Okay, we're having dessert. We don't know why we're having dessert. We're having, oh, we're having dessert because we were filming another video. That's why we're having dessert. This is- So good. Chocolate peanut butter keto chow ice, ice cream. cream. But this is not like we normally make it, which is in the blender. This is actually made in the ice cream maker. This is extra special. This is extra special because it's using heavy whipping cream. It's so rich. And it's very, very rich. Chocolate peanut butter, make it with some heavy whipping cream, stick in the refrigerator for the day. When you're ready, you throw it in the ice cream maker. And this is, each of us have a half a serving. I feel like this is adulting at its best. When I have ice cream for dinner, that is adulting. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're gonna finish up our day with. The cool part is, is 
This is less than 300 calories a piece. And yeah, it's some heavy whipping cream and we don't normally do it, but it's a treat and it's nothing that we have to worry about it. There's nothing like super bad in this. I'm actually just focused on getting my electrolytes right now. You, oh, you're just getting your electrolytes, right? Mm -hmm. you, you don't care about anything else. Mm -hmm. it's, the important part is we're getting our nutrition and our electrolytes in Absolutely. <laughs> Well, that is gonna be our video for today. If you like seeing different types of full day of eating videos, take a look at our entire playlist, which you're gonna find right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which you're gonna find is it gonna, right it's over, gonna be over there. there. What are you doing? Well, whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until, Until next time, time. bye. bye.